how to prepare for next year. Uh, this is someone asked me who is going to be part of my program next year. Um, who's saying, you know, they want to, they want to go back to a beginner's mind about their business. And I love that because I too am going back to a beginner's mind about my business for 2025. Um, it is, I think, essential in my opinion to continually be open to reinvention and also to continue to going back to the basics, the foundation, because, um, the foundations are often <laughs> starting to crumble if you haven't paid enough attention to it. And without a great foundation, the structure cannot, cannot uh, exist. And so this person asked me, um, what courses uh, might I focus on, George, that you have? Yeah. And I'll, I'll just kind of briefly talk about it. You don't have to, those of you watching this don't have to take those courses, but at least to, to focus on those topics, focus on those areas of the foundation what I'm going to be doing for myself, you know, now that I'm 16 years full time in my business, I'm still going back to the foundations, the beginner's mind. Some of you watching this are like st just starting or you've been working on something hasn't worked and now you're starting more seriously, whatever. Here's what I would do. Okay. So the beginning is um, of course, to have a vision for what you what you're you know excited by the person who asked me this uh mike you have a course on on visioning <laughs> I'll, I'll put i'll put mike's uh mike's visioning course below i think that's i think that's uh, for a lot of us starting there is inspirational it has gives us the energy to pull us forward okay so that's that's an, an important part of it so however you dear viewer are watching uh our our, our vision are looking at your future whatever process helps you to um, develop energy from the future that pulls you forward. I think it's very helpful. Um, for me, I have a little course called the FAR intention setting method. Uh, I'm going to go back to that myself, but essentially FAR, F-A-R stands for what's your future vision. So kind of like journaling about what excites you about your business, your career, your life for the future. Future, by the way, can mean depending on what your timeline is, it could mean 10 years, it could mean five years, it could mean one year. Okay. But generally, particularly when you're going back to beginner's mindset, I think one year is a is a good minimum to say, well, one year from now, um, this is what I would like my business to look like. So FAR, F-A-R stands for future visioning. A stands for what is your action plan for that? And R stands for what is your review plan for it? Future, I just talked about how do you set, you know, whatever method you use, journaling dancing, you know, vision quest, you know, talking to a friend, a coach, a therapist, drawing, whatever you need to do. Okay. Future visioning. A is what's the action plan. Okay, good. I'm glad you have, you've built the castle in the clouds, right? Now, how do you develop the ladder to get to that castle or the steps to get to that castle in the cloud? The action plan A is okay, good. That's one year from now. I'm going to do this, which means However, backcasting work is inspiring for you, do that. Does it mean, okay, 12 months from now, I'm here. That means 11 months from now, I need to be probably here, 10 months from now, or you want to do more generally. Okay, one year from now here, that means third quarter, I need to be here, or fourth quarter, beginning of fourth quarter, I need to be here and working on that. Third quarter, I need to work on that. Second quarter, da, da, da. So whatever action plan you need, all the way down to the clarity of, okay, that means fourth quarter, third quarter, second quarter, first quarter, or 11th month, 10th month, ninth month. That means this next month, this is my plan. That means this next week, this is my plan. So the action start, obviously action planning is very important to kind of like, you have a clear vision, you have probable goals, milestones along the, the way, and therefore what's your plan to get to those milestones, okay? The action. And then review are stands for review is what is your system of reviewing your action plan and your actions and what you need to adjust? How do you need to adjust yourself along the way? You can't just have an action plan and go, well, it's, you know, new year's resolution. Oh, it's February, uh, March. Uh, where did my action? No, you need to be reviewing. What's your, what's your review plan? Well, at least there's a once a month review, at least at the very least, and probably a once a week review, right? And probably a daily review right? I have, I have a daily review. Daily review is really my, my, my core. Uh, 
because my plans are so clear, I have a spreadsheet of plans and well, those of you who are interested in, in my spreadsheet of plans, I teach about this in my biz plan course. Uh, that's my core foundational course is authentic business planning that has where I teach about how I do my spreadsheet planning. And so, because that's so clear for me, I really just do a daily review, which every single day I actually look at my spreadsheet plan and go, okay, what's coming up. And I, I basically do that. Now, part of a review, I would recommend to have another human being that you're reviewing with, typically a coach, right? A coach that that helps you to, to review. Um, if, if you don't want to use a coach, get a friend, but accountability buddy that can be reliable to actually do this review process with even just half hour a week to say, hey, what, what did you plan last week? And what did you learn about your plans? How, how can you adjust yourself for this week's plans and what's your plans this week kind of thing? Okay, so um, sort of a biz plan, you know, that's my course if you want to do that or some kind of planning. And then what I'm doing for Beginner's Mindset also is going back to joyful productivity. That's the foundation suite of skills to make you be effective on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm reteaching joyful productivity in 2025 through my joy pro club. That's my program. Um, that's one of my uh, ch cheaper programs, I guess. Um, to to review the joyful productivity skills, to develop that step by step, which I need to do myself. So I'm reteaching joyful productivity through Joy Pro Club. But whatever you need to do to to increase your productivity skills, whatever system you believe in, study it. Look at it as a series of little skills and habits that you need to develop. You may need to work with a group or talk to a coach or work with a friend on this. But productivity skills are absolutely essential because it, it's how we. It's how we do things. It's how we do things effectively, how we manage our time, our energy, our, you know, our, our sleep wake cycles, how we work every hour. What do we do when we get to work instead of being overwhelmed? Like, ah, no, how, what is your system for getting to work and how do you do it? Okay. Productivity is essential. And then in terms of business, the foundations for me are energy signature, market discovery, aligned offers. And this is why my 2025 small client group program um, is going to be focused on those courses. Energy, energy signature is like, what is my story um, and my personality and my lineage and the context of my life that has brought me to this place where I can powerfully express a particular style and particular message. So energy signature, okay? And then, and then market discovery is how do I connect with other human beings to discover what aspect of my energy signature and desired offerings resonate a lot with them. What's the intersection? What's the Venn diagram between my energy signature and my calling or my, sorry, my energy signature and my interests and what the market wants at this time. That's what market discovery helps us discover that slice in the middle between our energy signature and our, and our interests and the market wants at this time. So market discovery, I'm going back to that myself. I'm taking my own course to, you know, anyway. And then for market discovery naturally comes creating an aligned offer, creating an offer that the market will naturally say, oh my gosh, of course I want to buy this because you're selling me what I want. That's just like the biggest secret to marketing that we don't say enough. Make your marketing easier by just selling what people want. If you sell what people don't want, if you just sell what you want, and it doesn't happen to also intersect with what people want, no wonder you have a hard time. And when I say what people want, it's both in terms of the topic people want, the way into the topic, the language to describe the way into the topic, the format of the, of the offer, like how much it costs, how long does it take, all that. That's all discovered through the process of market discovery and creating aligned offers. So I'm going back to that too for the coming year. Um, because I need to really um, master those suite of skills again. So to me, that's the beginner's mindset for an authentic business. You start with visioning. You go into business planning, right? Visioning, business planning, which includes a review system to review your action plans. And then you get into energy signature, market discovery, aligned offers. And by the way, alongside parallel to all this is content creation. Sorry, let me just say that again. Parallel to all this, what I just talked about, is content creation. Because content creation helps 
inform all of that. Content creation is where you explore, publicly explore your energy signature, your story, your message, weighs into your message, weighs into your, op- you're just experimenting a lot publicly. And that's content creation, um, which you know I do all this all the time in different places. So I'm always testing ideas through content. Anyway, I hope this is helpful as a way of beginner's mind. If you are someone who is restarting or even if you're really developed and wanting to shore up the foundations again for a stronger future. I hope this is helpful. Thanks.